So projecting the object on the screen on a scale of two ratio one, that is twice the initial given dimension. All right. So I'm going to produce. I produce an horizontal line, then a vertical line. So I'm going to start from the two uh, circles at the middle over there. So the very first circle there is a circle of diameter 36. That is radius 18. Radius 18. All right. So with radius 18 to the midpoint here, I would I produce my first circle. All right. And with radius 14. I produced this second circle. All right. So after doing that, from here, the radius up here is radius what? Radius 76. You know, I told you the dimensions are multiplied by two. So from this midpoint with radius 76, I strike an arc right there. Okay. So uh, from the junction of that arc there, I'm going to pick my compass and measure radius 50. Radius 50. All right. So with radius 50, I place my compass right here. Then I what? I draw this arc here. Okay. I'm drawing it faintly as it is there. So after drawing that arc here, the next thing is to pick my T square and reject it, you know, towards this area horizontally. All right. So after doing that what else am i going to do what else am i going to do we are told that the height from this junction towards the top here is 13. so i'm going to measure mark 13 from this junction up here mark 13. so on that mark 13 i'm going to watch project it towards horizontally horizontally in this manner okay so after doing that after doing that we are told that the radius of the arc that laps this area to this portion is arc of radius what? Radius 64. Arc of radius 64. So with radius 64 on my compass, with radius 64 on my compass, from this mark, I draw an arc here like this. Then on this area, I also draw an arc here. So I'm going to project those points at the bottom of tangentially to each other like this all right so i haven't done that i haven't done that so therefore 64 plus 50 that is 114 with radius 114 on my compass from this mark here i'm going to what, strike an arc to the bottom here so whenever my arc touches this horizontal line here which is this junction then i'm going to pick my compass and measure radius what radius 64 measure radius 64 so with radius 64 on my compass, I place it right here. Then I what? Then I draw. Can you see? Can you see? I draw. Okay. So that area is settled. It is settled. Okay. So I was told that the mark from this junction backward is what is mark 70 first. So mark 70 here. I strike it. I'm going to also pick from mark 70 towards my right hand side is what is mark 13 all right mark 13 this is mark 13 so each of those marks i'm going to project them what vertically vertically therefore i am going to actually pull this out to this junction here okay yeah that's it so you're told that the height of this object from here downward is what it is 25 so with my ruler i measure mark 25. i'm going to project it horizontally so from the mark of 25 there i'm going to what, pull it downwards in this manner all right so let's get the curve here let's get the curve here all right so the radius of the arc that moves from here down here is radius 38 radius 38 so with my compass i measure radius 38 with my compass with radius 38 i place it here because it is tangential here and i what i strike an arc 
So wherever the arc touches this vertical line with my radius 38, I what? I draw. Okay, as you can see. I'm going to draw with thin line first of all. All right. So after doing that, what next? Okay. So we are told that the radius of the arc there is joining this portion down here is radius what? Radius 43. So picking my compass with radius 43 from here, I strike an arc like this. All right. Also from here, I'm striking another arc in this manner. So then I'm going to join those two arcs tangentially, tangentially to each other in this manner, like this. Okay. So like this. So this is it. All right. So what is am I going to do? So radius 43 plus radius 38. That is what radius 81. So with my compass, I measure radius 81. With radius 81 from this midpoint here, I strike an arc here. So wherever the arc touches this line here, which is this junction here, I'm going to now measure radius what? Radius 43 on my compass. So with radius 43 at this junction right here, I would I join. As you can see, I join. I join. So that is it over there. So I can now thicken this part out with radius what? Radius 38. With my radius 38 coming back here, I'm going to what? Thicken this area out. Thicken it out. All right. So this area has also been gotten. So I'm going to what? Join them together there. Join them together there. All right, so before moving back here, let's finish this area here. So we are told that from this midpoint here, towards here is 6.5, towards here is what is 6.5. So let me do that now. So with my compass, I measure radius 6.5. So with radius 6.5 on my compass, here, here, I'm going to project them vertically. Right, so that's it. And I was told that uh, the height, okay, from this junction to the top is what 19. So with my ruler, I measure 19, which is this right here. 19. I'm going to project it out here in this manner. All right. That mark there is what is 19. Okay. So then, uh, from this area downward is what is six, six. Okay, that's max six. I'm going to project it horizontally, horizontally this way. Then, if that has been done, the next is to join this right here. that manner all right so then i was told that the distance uh, from this area to the center of our circle here is what is 10. so with my ruler i measure 10. okay this mark 10 right here i'm going to project it horizontally horizontally and I told that the radius of our circle is uh, radius 6 radius 6 okay with radius 6 I draw okay
all right so that area has been settled as it is now it has been settled as it is so uh, let me take in this area of radius 50 very well also okay perfect all right so from this junction here we're told that the distance towards my left hand side here is uh, 114 114 so with my ruler i measure mark 114 all right which is right here okay on that mark 114 i'm having another distance of what of 15 of 15 and that's it right here so i'm going to project those two points vertically i'm projecting them vertically Okay, so how when it's that way, we are told that the distance from here, all right, towards the middle here is six, six. So I'm going to pick my ruler and measure mark of six. So on this mark six, I'm going to project it horizontally, right here. Okay, so this map of 15, I'm going to divide it by 2, which is 7.5567.5. I'm going to also draw that vertically. Okay, so from this point of intersection, I'm going to pick my compass and measure radius 19. Radius 19. Measuring radius 19. So with radius 19 from this junction here, I draw in this manner. All right. So after drawing that, so from the edge here, okay, here it touches the vertical line. Upward is what is 25, mark of 25. So from this junction, I measure mark of 25 upwards. And this is the mark of 25 right here and i'm still going to what, draw that vertically sorry i'm going to draw that horizontally okay then i can now complete this part All right, so settled as it is over here, settled. Okay, we are told that the radius of the arc here, joining this area here is radius of uh, 114, radius 114, radius 114. So how do we go about that? Okay, so the radius of the arc here is what 114, and it is what external to this and external to this, and the radius of this arc here is what is 38. So 114 plus 38 is what, that is 152. So measuring 152 with my compass, I place it at this center of the arc of radius 38, all right? And I draw my first arc in this manner, in this manner, okay? So then 114 plus 19, 114 plus 19 gives 133. So with my compass, I measure radius what? 133. I measure radius 133 with 133 at this midpoint here of arc of radius 19 i would i draw the corresponding arc okay so this is where they what they intersect then i'm going to pick radius what radius 114 okay with radius 114 from this point of intersection right here i would i draw I draw okay so that is the complete representation of the question on the screen by multiplying the dimension by what by two 
So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.